so i graduated from iit delhi in 2009 and uh, then i went to us to start a phd in applied physics uh, spent about 8 months there and then realized that I didn't want to do phd and uh, came back to india and at that point my father's business was poultry farming so i found an idea in in us which was uh, to do with the new type of poultry feed and i replicated that idea in india changed it according to ingredients and uh, conditions here and that went really well so that was my first company called prodigy foods so i sold that company in about 18 months and uh, then at that point uh, i started click labs about 4 years ago so click labs is a saas based company uh, and what we do is uh, we build logistics uh, and management software for big and small companies all over the world and uh, about so click labs was about 300 people profitable about a year ago at that time me and my cto who was my co-founder in click labs also we decided that you know let's uh, try to do something different and uh, that was jugnu so the idea of jugnu was really you know we just were experimenting uh, randomly pretty much right there was this college festival we said let's do something technical we had a stall there and we thought you know it will be cool to showcase some technology and just as that showcase we put together a small app called jugnu which was supposed to give rides to people coming to and from the uh, the festival so we got i think over 300 rides in 4 days and we just thought that this is just very very viral and not only that next day the first day so in the night we provided rides to people next day requests started coming on to the app so we had no provision for rides the next day but we realized that you know it's it's actually a very powerful idea and we should work on it so we started working on it and uh, that's pretty much it how it started and it's been growing uh, ever since so i think on the headline number right i think we have done pretty well i mean we are doing about 30000 transactions daily today in tw- across 25 cities all over india so what has changed i think in that time and uh, now is that when we started right we were we were more like experimenting we didn't uh, really understand if it is a big enough problem for people we pretty much started as a as a joke right as a as a experiment but then what we realized it's it's not only a big problem but but think about uh, the fact that most people in india don't transact digitally right and what better than an auto rickshaw ride to transition them to digital infrastructure right so the the real problem statement has changed from providing people uh, you know only an auto rickshaw to actually being the entry point to digital commerce so so that's that's i think how our horizons have widened and uh, what we are trying to do is we're trying to make sure that we are constantly innovating not just growing but actually innovating in terms of technology processes and increasing driver income and basically having some impact in the society at grassroots level so basically uh, so so i'll tell you a few figures about auto rickshaws which will give you some context so auto rickshaws there are 5 million auto rickshaws in the country today every day about 3 crore rides happen right so 3 crore rides happen on an auto on auto rickshaws in the country and the efficiency of the auto rickshaws is only 30% so roughly 70% of the time an auto rickshaw driver is actually waiting for a ride to happen so not only is it very inefficient it's very very uh, it's very disheartening for people so because of that they start to haggle they try to charge more they become rude talk to any driver they will t- tell you that they don't want to haggle they don't want to ch- overcharge but because there is not enough demand they have to do these things and our thesis was to increase efficiency in the system so what if we increase efficiency for all the 5 million peop- uh, drivers in the country right where does this additional three time demand so we need three times the demand that is today to make sure everybody is three times more busy right if we increase the efficiency so that part is deliveries right so if you look at india hyper local deliveries last mile logistics is the biggest pain point for companies like flipkart snapdeal amazon you name it so auto rickshaw guys are already sitting idle 
uh, driving cost for an auto rickshaw is roughly about about similar uh, to a scooter or a bike, uh, not very different. And the opportunity cost of his time is anyway zero because he is sitting idle anyway. So that is the reason why we want to use this infrastructure for delivery. And I think uh, we obviously have the densest and the most underutilized resource in the country. We can increase efficiency. So according to our calculations, it translates into about $25 billion of additional GDP, additional income coming into this economy just by increasing efficiency of these people. So I think uh, first on the opportunity size as I told you right it's uh, 30 million rides a day happen and I think the potential is about 100 million rides a day in the country because when the prices fall a lot of people actually shift from scooters or their own cars to auto rickshaw. So, so that's the ma market we're targeting so, so the idea is to, to expand the market overall. and. But we are very tiny right now. Thirty thousand in respect to th uh, three million is is uh, thirty million is nothing really. So, what we need to do is we need to get to about a million rides a day, very fast. And at that point, we can start innovating in infrastructure, innovating in uh, more you know uh, in mechanisms where we can have people air conditioned rides at the same price point those kind of things right which is like a upgrade for people same pe same people driving but different types of vehicles which are giving air conditioned rides to people so that's the game plan on on how we grow and on the competition i think see it's a it's a good thing that healthy competition is coming because if there is a space where there is no competition that generally means the space is not good so what we want is we want a competition to come in that validates the space that that makes investors more interested in the space but at the same time we want to make sure we are the thought leaders till date we are the thought leaders in the space and we just want to continue that thought leadership by innovating not just you know trying to grow in terms of numbers but actually getting real impact on grassroots so one good thing about auto rickshaws is they're pretty much like a universal concept when it comes to india it's like a it's like the cultural symbol in in country I mean, if you look at you know any foreign movie yeah, they'll use an auto rickshaw to actually represent India so yesterday uh, day before yesterday I was at a conference and there was this uh, person from abroad who was speaker so so they said okay so what should I try in India somebody from the audience said you should try a Jugnu Jugnu ride right because auto rickshaw actually represents India in some way so because of that I think the you, you, the response has been pretty uniform people are very very astonished that actually auto drivers are able to use apps and they are tech savvy. But if you look at auto rickshaw driver side of the story, I think they are even more excited about the picture, about this concept because they are not only learning technology for the first time, but they are also, their life is actually going a re through a revolution because of this. They are getting bank accounts for the first time, they are starting to pay taxes for the first time, they are starting to get insurance for the first time. So, so all these things are getting you know having a very profound effect on their on their lives.